Well, I don't really usually do this a lot. Um, it's kind of dark in here, but a little more lighter than before. Um, I'm going to go outside, actually, and t um, do my thing. It's more lighter because it's in the sun and stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of like a vlog video for you guys. Oh, you can't see me at all. Oh, it's kind of black. Um, but, um, there's something that I'm kind of nice. And Brittany's outside. Oh. I'm talking to myself. I'm doing a video. Are you? Yeah, because I'm lame. But yeah, it's more bright out here. You can see me way, way better. Okay, well, um, I'm going to tell my um, thing, story, whatever. Um, I want you guys all to know. Oh, I can't even like keep my eyes open because it's so bright outside. But anyways, I'm going to tell my story um, about my grandpa's death and my nana's death. Um, they both died a year apart. My grandpa died um, last year. My nana just died um, this year. And she was 93, some, 93 years old, I think. But here's my grandpa's story, then I'll go to my nana. Well, um, my grandpa was not very sick. He was in the hospital for a while. And I thought he would be making it and he would be okay. It was just... It was one of those things that I thought he would be okay, and sure enough, it wasn't. He wasn't going to be okay. And um, my grandma went to call um, him, and um, they wouldn't let him, her talk to my grandpa, and my grandma thought it was kind of fishy. So um, they went to the hospital, and they're like, should we call the family? And they said, yeah. And then my grandpa finally passed away. March 20th of 2014. Um, it was very hard for me. I felt sick to my stomach. I didn't eat or drink for a while. Um, really made me very upset. He died from a massive heart attack. Um, but I have this box in memory of him. Um, I'm going to share what's in it, and I haven't ever shared it with anyone but you guys today. Um, but here it goes. Um, I'll read the letter first. Oh, jeez. You can see me. Hey! But I'm surprised I'm trying to be strong enough. I don't want to be mopey. But it says, Dear Grandpa, I love you with all my heart. It hurts my heart. You're gone. My heart was shattered into a thousand pieces because you're gone. I talked to you on the way to school, then I cry every time it's been a year since you've been gone. It breaks my heart so much that I won't see you again until I pass away. I love you so much. This letter will go in your box for now. I love you, XO, heart, September 27th, 2015, that's when I wrote it. That was yesterday. Um, I got a lot of things in here for him. Um, I have his old cell phone that I used to talk on the phone with. It's kind of dusty. <laughs> um, I don't plug it in. I don't charge it. I don't do anything with that. I, I just keep it in his box. When he died, my dad gave me a Bible with a whole bunch of things in there, and I haven't read any of these. Oh, it's kind of bad. But um, And then when he died, my um, counselor gave me this. It's a heart, and if I see a heart, that's my grandpa. The medium told me, and that really means a lot to me. He used to like black jelly beans. I don't know why, but I think that he because they taste like black licorice. I don't know. I haven't ever tried them, and he liked the white kind too. Um, this is a thank you card from his funeral that whoever showed up. Um, this is his thing for when he passed away. I kept mine, obviously, and it says God saw he was getting tired. And a cur was not to be, so he put his arms around him and whispered, Come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched him suffer and saw him fade away. Although we loved him dearly, we would not make him stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard-working hands to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. In lovely memory of Lowell Buster Brown, January 21st, 1938, Midland, Michigan, passed away March 20th, 2014. 
South State Marine, Michigan, from service 4 p.m. Tuesday, March 25, 2014. Daily Bramley New House Funeral Home. Richard Daniel Hodge, final resting place in the Richard Cemetery. I'm done with that. Well, he was American, so I made a dollar bill. It says, Best Grandpa, Best Grandpa, because he was the best grandpa ever. Um, he was like the best man ever. I love him very, very much. Um, I think about him all the time. Every day. Sometimes I do cry. I'll admit it. I do cry sometimes because I miss him very, very much. But yeah, I went to his funeral and. Ow. Oh, he was gone and didn't keep his hand warm and didn't work. But, anyways, here's the story about my nana. Or nanny, whatever you want to call her. Um, well, um, one day, um, nanny went to the um, hospital. And she was very, very sick. Um, she had a stroke in her sleep. So they put tubes down her throat and everything. She was on life support for a while. We thought she was going to be gone. And then one day, um, she was very getting better. And um, she was on one cord left. And um, she told her nurse, she's like, oh, that turkey's dry. And kind of funny, eh? She was always the honest person. Um, she said to her nurse, joking around, saying, I need help with a dang remote. <laughs> and then um, one day, um, I forget what day it was, it was sometime in August, um, she passed away. And I was um, just, um, I got up for church that morning, because it was a Sunday. And um, there were stitches on the floor. And um, I was like, what's going on? And um, my grams um, told me that um, Nanny passed away. And um, I went to brush my teeth and I couldn't take it. So I cried and cried. And um, we went to a funeral and I told her I loved her. And now I don't want to go to Vegas anymore because she's not there anymore. It makes me very sad that I will never see her again until I die. But I had some good memories with her. So that's my story for today. I hope you guys liked both my stories. Just know that I'm just going to try making more vlogs. But it's oh, it's hard work telling me about it. So um, bear with me. Um, I love you guys. Um, stay strong and keep it beautiful on your... Yep. Keep a beautiful smile on your face. Stay strong.